Donald Trump somehow was able to tap into something primal. And I remember his last rally in, in the 2020 campaign when, when Mike Pence, I think, just gave a beautiful prayer in, I think, Lansing, Michigan. And that last rally where, where I had this doom sense that the, the Trump presidency was over. And, and I had a few tears watching the, that final rally. He, he was able at times to tap into something primal, mm -hmm. no not question. just me, but in millions of people. And the Make America Great Again movement, the, the devotion that millions of people had to that movement, I think reflects that there is still a national feeling out there that can be stimulated. I think Tucker Carlson taps into it at times. And so I think a, a, a wise, smooth Kenny operator with, with, the, with pageantry skills can, can possibly tap into it again. And, and all sorts of identities are latent waiting to be, to be made active. I mean, think about the person who's been sexually dead for five years, 10 years, 15 years. They have a since sexual interaction and suddenly they're a sexual being. They are completely transformed. They've got sex on the mind. They're having regular sex. Their identity has completely changed. Prior to this, they were just a stockbroker with a whole bunch of obligations. And now suddenly they feel alive because some part of themselves, which was dead for 15 years, has overflowed like a volcano. And, and that can also happen with nationalism.